My name is Pierce Kiltoff. I am the president of JKA Well Drilling and Pumps. My dad started this business in 1989, and in 2006 I started taking it over. And in, by 2010 I had full control, and by 2012 he retired, and I've been running it for the last uh, 12, 13 years. Pierce Kiltoff says you never know how far down you'll need to drill before you hit water. Could be 40 feet, could be 1,000 feet. The average depth is 220 feet. The drilling is done by JKA's massive 65,000 pound drilling rig. That's a foremost dual rotary, DR24. Uh, it'll drill t up to 24 inch casing um, into the ground simultaneously uh, and independently of the drill bed. The drill bit goes down inside of the casing and it's got air that comes out of it and it's drilling stuff up and the air pushes everything we're drilling up up the casing, out the black hose and out the cyclone and it spins it down and drops it on the ground. Western Washington is mostly what's called glaciated till, which is sand, silts, gravels, stuff laid down as the glaciers melted back during the last ice age. They melted back over about a thousand years and whatever washed off those glaciers put all this dirt on top of the bedrock. Do most places have water that you can get to? Yeah, yeah, most places do. I Probably 99% of the wells we drill have water. The well shed is to house the pressure tank and the controls and the, the water filtration and treatment equipment. Kiltoff says after water is located, samples are collected and analyzed for water contaminants. If any are found, JKA consults with an engineer to come up with a plan for mitigation and filtration. He says homeowners need to make sure they're informed. So they just gotta ask a lot of questions. They gotta ask a lot of questions. Give Pierce Kiltoff a call at JKA Well Drilling.